Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how to make this bomb.com garlic butter salmon recipe. It's so easy yet so flavorful. If you never made any of my recipes, this one is a must try. But before I get started, if you enjoyed today's recipe, be sure to give it a like and let's get started. To begin, I have a whole salmon filet here that I am going to cut myself. I love filleting my own salmon, it's just perfect. So I am going to remove that flap right here, just set it aside, we're not throwing it away now. And I like to mark the filet before I cut them just to make sure they all the same size. So I mark where I'm going to cut then I went ahead and cut them into fillets. I went ahead and washed my salmon and I use a napkin to pat dry any moisture because we don't want that. Then I am going to drizzle some olive oil all over the salmon fillets. Once I am done, I am going to be using my hand to mix it, rub it in, you know. Then you are going to move on to your seasoning. To season, I am using a teaspoon of each, onion powder, garlic powder, um, dry parsley, thyme, lemon pepper seasoning, paprika, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper with a teaspoon of seasoned salt. To make sure the seasonings are well combined, I went ahead and mixed it with a fork. Then we are going to generously season our salmon filet. Now I am going to flip it over and season the other side. Why? Because we eat both sides. All right, now we have our salmon filet nice and well seasoned. Moving on to cooking it, I am going to add about four tablespoons of unsalted butter to my cast iron. Once it's nice and smoking hot, we're going to place our salmon filet right in. Now I am cooking them on medium high heat for about five minutes per side. Now it depends on how thick your salmon is. Make sure it's nice and cooked. And if you need to cook it some more, you can just pop it in the oven for about two to three minutes just to ensure the inside is nice and cooked. Once one side is nice and cooked and golden brown, you're going to flip it over. Yes, look how beautiful and golden brown they look. Flip it over, allow the other side to cook just like that. Now, once the other side is nice and cooked, guess what? You're going to remove it, set it aside. Now, to make my garlic butter sauce, I removed some of the butter because it was way too much. I'm trying to eat less butter. So next, this is what you're going to do. You're going to add about one tablespoon of minced garlic in there. Then you're going to cook that for about 15 to 30 seconds. Next, you're going to add about one teaspoon of chicken bouillon in there. Now, any all-purpose seasoning will work, so 
It doesn't have to be chicken bouillon. You can use Creole seasoning, adobo seasoning, any all-purpose seasoning in there. Okay, give that a mix just like that. And next, I am going to squeeze in some lemon juice. This is about one lemon. I am going to remove that seed first. Then you are going to squeeze in the lemon juice. Mmm, I love me the flavor of lemon and fish, any type of fish, seafood, mm, my favorite. Now I'm going in with some fresh parsley, just add that in just like that, just to release the flavor, cook it for about mm, 10 seconds. Then you are going to pour in about two to three table, tablespoon of chicken broth. Now I'm adding the chicken broth just to replace the butter. I don't want it to be too buttery. I know it sounds bad, but it's it's a good thing. Okay, be my guest. If you just wanna use butter, it'll be fine. You don't have to use the chicken broth. But I added the chicken broth in there. Then you are going to place your salmon right in. Now you can make more sauce if you want, but this right here, you guys, this is one of the best salmon recipe ever. I haven't made a salmon recipe, like this is a basic salmon recipe, but yet it tastes absolutely delicious. You have to try this to know what I'm talking about. And once you're done, this is the final result. And it was so flaky, so tender, so flavorful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, if it was helpful, please, please, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you're going to try this out. And I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye, guys.